we start with the Centennial Coastal Portland Soccer League Division 1 title race. We've had a season worthy of a screenplay and the final act delivered the nail-biting, unforeseeable ending this title race deserved. Going into May, Sanzac sat top by a point, but CPR controlled the race with their game in hand. Nyack were also right in the mix and Richmond had a sporting chance too. A misstep by any of the four would-be champions was likely to prove fatal for their dreams and the tension was readily apparent in the opening weekend of May. Nyack hosted an informed Kamendi side who arrived at Travers Island ready to play their part of pantomime villains and when the visitors took the lead with 22 minutes remaining, Nyack found themselves in the familiar position of trailing at home with time ticking against them. Elliot Cohen had scored a 97th minute equaliser for Nyack in their previous league game and in another moment of need, Nyack's night of the 11th hour rode forth. Here's Nyack. This could be their last chance. We're in stoppage here. That ball sailing up and the keeper comes out. The shot! Deflection! And it's a penalty in stoppage time! And Cohen pockets it. It's 1-1. Certainly not the result Knight was hoping for, but they kept their title hopes alive with the point. CPR had to go through a similarly intense ordeal in the later kickoff, facing a stubborn Manhattan kickers. This felt like a make or break moment in CPR season. Their seemingly unstoppable spring run had been brought to a shuddering halt the previous weekend by Sanzac. Another misstep would compound the momentum shift and perhaps signal the pressure of the title race had become too much for the newly promoted Reds. Things started to plan for CPR with the prolific Josh Gray converting from the spot, but the kickers gave as good as they got and found a deserved equaliser right before the break after Bardong connected on a brilliant Martinez free kick. As the second half kicked off, the heat was further turned up on the Reds as news trickled in of the hiding Sanzac were giving doomed missile. CPR was struggling to find their rhythm. Kickers were proving pugnacious. A moment of inspiration was required to turn the fortunes back in CPR's favor. And on the hour mark, Henrik Coulson galloped forwards to deliver it. It's gonna make a crossfield to Olsen. Then misjudged it. Olsen passed him, passed Wallace. Henrik Olsen, Henrik Olsen! It's magnificent! A weaving run! by Henrik Olsen, and he's grabbed the title race by the scruff of the neck with one moment of brilliance. Olsen's goal of sheer willpower kept the initiative in Central Park Rangers' hands, but things didn't get any easier for the Reds next weekend as they faced Kamende in another nail-biter. Colin Marmot's goal was enough to deliver the three points. It's fair to say in both these games, CPR didn't reach the same irresistibly high level they had in March and April, but they passed the test all title winners must, winning even whilst having an off day.